Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about frames and this video is supposed to be the top three frames under 50 bucks that I've used from durability, flight characteristics and overall quality. However, before making this video, I actually sat down and checked the prices and noticed all of the prices has have gone up, which is absolutely strange here. But the best frame of them all is still the cheapest of them all, which is just super awesome. So let's just talk about the frames here. Now this is the X210, uh, real ACC X210. And here we have the Frog Light, the Transtech Frog Light. It comes in two versions. You have a race and you have a light. Uh, the race is a one piece bottom plate and the light is just separate arms. And uh, here we have the Jump RC LX5, the first one ever, not the LX1, just the first, you know, the golden one that came out. And I've had it for a very long time also. So my, you know, this video is supposed to be on the top three of them under 50 bucks. You know, two of them are still under 50 bucks, but one of them is completely not under 50 bucks anymore, which is the LX5. Now, the LX5 was an absolute beauty. It took a lot of beating. It flies nice. It's pretty heavy, though, um, but it has interchange interchangeable arms, and the amount of space inside was very limited. Some people got a three stack to fit, but usually I never really got more than two stacks because it'll just get too much in there. However, this one needs possibly a rebuild here. And uh, this one actually used to be 50 bucks and now it jumped up to 60 something dollars, which is just insane. I don't understand why here. So overall, the quality though on this guy is absolutely beautiful. The looks of it, the finish, the aluminum. Uh, they're not using the diatone aluminum, they're using the good aluminum. So this one is a very good one, but it's not under that 50 bucks right now. So it's a little bit over, it's around 60 something dollars. So let's put this guy to the side here. All right, we're gonna leave the best for last. Now, the X210, the real ACC X210, this one was one of the best frames a while ago for the price. It was 27 bucks to 35 bucks, I remember. And, you know, for, for it, it withheld a lot of my crashes, and the parts were absolutely drop dead cheap. The only thing I've ever broken on this was a top plate, and that's about it. And this was like the second quadcopter that I ever built, as I believe, or the third maybe. But this one was very beautiful. I really loved it. Um, it was, I think it was a transition from the ZMR250 at the time, if I remember correctly. So this was just insane for me. And it's still, it's a beautiful flying quadcopter out of the box till this day. However, the price has gone up. And it's gone up by a lot, actually. The 4mm version, which is this one, is $49 now. So that's just insane. It used to be like 27 or 30 bucks. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe Banggood just has a little bug in their system, but it's it's literally 50 bucks now. It's just crazy. So, um, yeah. Anyways, it wasn't the first winner. So, uh, But, yeah, this is absolutely a good flyer. If you really like the looks of it, grab it. It's a good one. Um, it'll take a good impact. So um, I've had very good luck with it. You could always find parts for this guy. All right. So let's talk about the winner here. And why is he the winner? This is the Transtech Frog Light, and I have around four Transtech Frogs in the house, and I really love this frame, and a lot of people would agree with me that this is one of the best frames you could possibly purchase. Now, why do I say that? Well, one, it's price. It's only 27 bucks till this day. That's just crazy. When it first came out, I got it for 50 bucks. Um, but, you know, even buying it for 50 bucks, even buying it right now again for 70 bucks, it's absolutely worth it because the quality of this is just premium quality stuff. It's just crazy. However, it's, it's 27 bucks still, so that's just super awesome. Um, most of my frog, this is the one that's been beaten the most and been flown the most. Um, and uh, as you can tell right there, that's the only impact, that's the only damage I've gotten other than a broken camera and broken motors on this. Um, other than that, this thing just flies beautiful. The overall quality, the carbon thickness, the just everything about this is just insane. The aluminum is the absolutely beautiful aluminum. I have yet to have it strip and... Um, Overall, it's a very good quadcopter. Um, flight characteristics is insane. The amount of space you have in here is just beautiful. Uh, the camera mounting solutions are all there for you. And um, it's a very well built, thought out frame. And this was kind of like a breakthrough when I first saw it when it first came out. And until this day, we really haven't had another one. Or I haven't seen one that's just really like, wow, you know, for, for, such, for such a low price, I, you know. Usually everything now is just hella expensive for some reason. A lot of things are going up in price. I don't know why. Uh, this is still the number one quadcopter under 50 bucks ever. Because, you know, it's it's just premium quality stuff in here. And uh, it could take an absolute beating. I can tell you that right now. And um, 
let's just put another perspective here. I'm telling you, if it was ninety dollars now or seventy, and I wanted one, I would still go purchase it because I already know that the stuff is quality. It's just it has that nice carbon fiber, beautiful finish. It looks like it's a true three K carbon fiber. The rigidity is absolutely just stunningly good. Um, when you grab it, you can just feel that it. it's just good stuff, you know. Especially when you fly it, and when you crash it, and when you just you know constantly use it, you know I could just this is one of my most trusted quadcopters, and um, it's just perfectly set for me. Everything about this is beautiful, and this is still rocking an F3 flight controller because I built it such a long time ago. It's a beauty. That's all I can really say. It's an absolute beauty, and this is the number one quadcopter frame in terms of quality, performance, characteristics and just everything for under 50 bucks and um, i'm pretty sure a lot of you probably agree with me and some of you won't and i would love to hear your opinions and your experiences down in the comment section i'm pretty sure other people would like to see that also and well that's gonna include it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it you guys requested it and um here it is and i uh, will see you next time see you guys take care